What's up? <laughs> Hi. Um, it's Jasmine and Monica, and today we are going to be talking about the Texas. Texas. <laughs> we like trying to do the same. Okay. Before we get started, wait, wait. though. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Before I just want to um, say what we're not going to do is we're not going to talk about my hair because um. <laughs> We all know this Houston humidity is something. It's no joke. I was a dumb one for straightening my hair anyways. But go ahead. I straightened mine too. But like it's like wavy. Not straight. Yeah. But um. But yeah. We're going to talk about the Texans. Um, This is kind of like our like third time trying to freaking record this podcast. Because um, if y'all don't know. I don't live in the same city as she does i live like three hours away from her so but we're together and we're gonna try and i believe we will succeed i really hope so third time's a charm yes, yes third time's a charm but um but yeah so we're gonna start off by saying um how we became fans of this wonderful franchise <laughs> This wonderful franchise that has never Who, ever disappointed us ever nev- once. Ever. Ever. Um, who's so good. Who has been to an AFC championship game. Um, never the Super Bowl, though. Let's um, <laughs> stop before you start crying. <laughs> we have never been to an AFC championship Oh, my God. Okay. Well, okay. yeah. So, Jasmine, you go ahead. I'm going first? Okay. Yeah. So, how I became a fan of the Texans. It all started when I was a little girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know. Like, you know, I've, I've been basically a Houstonian. I, I didn't actually grow up in Houston. I just grew up around Houston. And so, Houston got another team in 2002. So, you know, my family were Texans fans. And so... I became a Texans fan, and then, yeah, that's basically how it is, you know, from Houston, like, day one, yeah, and yeah. imagine if you were a Cowboys fan, <laughs> no, my family, like, my family hates the Cowboys, because one of my uncles is a, is an Eagles fan, oh. and then, um, so, like, everybody hates the Cowboys, and then I remember um, when my brother did Pee Wee football, and then I knew that the Cowboys were a Texas team, and so I saw like the little Dallas star, mm-hmm. and then I was like, oh, look, mommy, like they're the Cowboys, like that's so cool. She's like, no, we don't like the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> she like, set you straight. <laughs> like, no. So yeah, I I don't like the Cowboys. <laughs> My family is nothing but Cowboys fans. Ugh. They like they give me a hard time because I'm a Texans fan. Like, my aunts, my uncles, my grandparents, like, both sides of my family, they're all Cowboys fans. Um, I do know a few Texans fans, but they're, it's rare. I I know you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I know you too. (laughs) Um, but no, I was born, oh my god, excuse me, I was born here, well, not here, but in Clear Lake, and, um, at first I didn't like football at all like my my dad was a Cowboys fan and I didn't like football I was just like dad why why what's so special about football and then one day my mom was like Monica you should watch football with me this was back in like 2014 I think and my I was like okay I was sure why not but like I don't know what's going on so are you gonna teach me and she's just like yeah I'll teach you so I was like, okay. Um, so I sit down, and my mom's like, who do you want to watch? And I'm like, well, I'm from Houston, so I'm like, let's watch the Texans. And so she was like, okay. And then so we watched the Texans, and my mom taught me the game of football. I instantly fell in love, and I fell in love with a specific player. His name is J.J. Watt. We all know and love him. Yes. <laughs> He's freaking amazing. Um, he did something, I think. I think it was his um his pick six against the Bills. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Uh, Bengals. Maybe Bengals. Yeah, I don't know. But he 
he my yeah he got a pick six me. um so i was just like oh my god i was like mom what is that called and she was just like it's a pick six monica and i was like oh <laughs> JJ just did a pick six. <laughs> but yeah and then ever since then um i love i love football and i love the texans even though they piss me off sometimes but they piss me off more than sometimes i was being nice <laughs> But I still love them. Yes, I still love them. I'm still devoted to this team, which is why we're starting a podcast. Yes, because we just love talking about them. Yes. I don't even know who taught me the game of football. Like, I don't even know. Well, I guess, uh, like, I guess my mom, too. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I kind of, I don't know. I guess, like... Because by the time I got to junior high, that's when I was really into football. Like, I was really wanting to learn things. And um, I had a lot of guy friends because that's I bonded with them over sports. Like, yeah. I was like a crazy sports fanatic when I was younger. And so I would just always talk to them about sports. And then I would ask them questions and stuff. I think, like, they're the ones who really taught me, like, in detail the game of football and then like so your guy friends then? yeah i think so and then yeah i don't know i was just curious to know who ended up teaching me yeah i at first i just i was i just didn't understand like why what the hype is for football i got annoyed every thanksgiving oh my god the texans play sorry the texans play on thanksgiving they do? Yeah, they do. Look. Pull up the Texan schedule real quick. They play the The last time the they Lions. Played, that's who they played last time, huh? The last time they played on Thanksgiving? I don't know. I don't and know. They won And then they won um Lions, November twenty sixth, twenty twenty. Freaking Randy Bullock. Oh, Oh my god, we should have had like Justin Reed when we had Randy Bullock. <laughs> like, honestly. Justin Reed. I don't know if y'all saw that, but Justin Reed hit, uh, what was it, a 50 yarder? A 50 yarder, yeah. Yeah, he hit a 50 yarder at training camp, and I was just like, is there anything this man can, like, can't do? Like, he can do it all. He can. I'm, I'm a big Justin Reed fan. So am I. Like, I'm... I. He's like. <sighs> He's, like, slept on, like, by the league. Like, I think Texans fans know and understand, like, how special of a player he is. But, like, he doesn't get, like, league-wide respect yet. Like, no, he doesn't. I mean, like, he's coming off, um... An injury. An injury, yeah. Excuse me. <coughs> but he was injured throughout that whole season, and he still played. Through an he injured, still played, it, yeah. Shoulder or collar, shoulder or something. I, don't I think my favorite. What's your favorite play? Justin Reed played last season. <laughs> when, <laughs> when he like knocked that ball out, like it was against I think the Titans. That's my and favorite, he, yes, dude. He knocked the ball out. Like everybody talks about the catch. Who caught it and returned it? I don't remember who caught it and returned it. I don't remember. I don't but remember. like Justin's hit. Like, he was the reason like, why. Bam. Yeah, he just went boom. I was like, oh, also, season opener. <laughs> this one, I like this one too. <laughs> Wait, who did we? Oh, the Saints. Right? That was this past year. Well, okay, the home opener. Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, home yeah, opener, because yeah. I was there. And um, whenever. Who did we play? I think it was Jacksonville. And then we were like on the, the goal line, and he stopped. He stopped like them from getting a touchdown, and we won that game because of the big stop that he made. So that was a really good play too. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite is the Titans one. Yeah. I was just thinking, I was just like, wow. I wish, I hope, and I pray he's a Texans forever. Yes, I, I really big fan. Of him. Because I'm a fan of him, like not just like what like he does on the field, but also what he does off the field as well. Because he's just. He's a, he seems like a great guy. Yeah. That's um that's me with Kenny. Like off the field, like because of like what he does for like the community and then like how passionate he is about social issues and mental health and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that makes me a huge fan of him. But yeah, Kenny, we love Kenny. We love Justin. 
Um, what did you think about the Saints game? Like, Kenny or like in as a whole? Um, Kenny first, yeah, because that okay, was because we kind of like was... went to. Okay, so what I think about Kenny is like I think that he's a very underrated player, mm -hmm. and like those players are my favorite, like the underrated players that are like really good, but like nobody talks about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will always defend those players like all the time. <laughs> And so, um, but, like, I'm not even going to sit here in front. Like, I really knew Kenny's game beforehand. Um, so when we first got him, he was overlooked because, like, we also got Laramie Tunsil. And we were like, oh, snap. Like, Laramie, like, let's go. <laughs> like, that's what we need. Let's go. And then it was, like, Kenny's too. But we're like, LT, like, let's go. And then, um... <clears throat> so when we got Kenny, I kind of just knew like whenever I like looked, I was like, oh, that's the guy that like um that kneeled with um with a uh, cap. Cap America. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I don't really pay attention much to other teams outside of my favorite teams in sports. Like I like all sports, but like I really only pay attention to my favorite teams. <laughs> so like <laughs> when it comes to other players, like when we get new players and stuff. Like, I'll know about them sometimes, and sometimes I have to, like, ask around, like, like, is that, like, good that we got them, or what? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, let me know, like, in, de in depth. But, um, anyways, didn't know too much about him, about his game before we got him. But whenever, um, that catch that he made, everybody knows the catch that he made. I was like, let's go! Let's and then, um... Yeah, so <laughs> in conclusion, after that catch after that catch, I was a fan. <laughs> I was I was a fan too, even though we lost that game, but it's not their oh, fault. Yeah. It's not their fault. But I'm um, hopefully Aaron this mm. Hopefully <laughs> Anyways, hopefully this season our defense won't let, you know, Deshaun down. Like they did against Kansas City, but Oh god. <laughs> I like I I mean, I was I was upset, obviously, because of the fact that we it was twenty four to nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, it was, and like we were doing great, we were starting off great. I don't remember when it turned around. I think when did it turn around? I feel like whenever we tried to get what was it? I think we tried to get Justin Reed to sneak something on the fourth down or something. Well, did we? No. And I think it just went downhill after that. Yeah, we we know what happened. It's just like, okay. My thing about that game was that okay. The main reason why we were up twenty four and zero was because of all the mistakes that Kansas City was making. That is very like, true. Yes. They missed a bunch of like easy passes. Like they were just dropping things and. I was be watching like highlights from that game, and they they were dropping things. They and were then just dropping things. Yeah, and then literally like Kenny was wide open, and Deshaun threw it to Kenny, and Kenny ran it in for a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I, I won't like get on to that. But um, but yeah, they were making mistakes, and then we just con we made mistakes and just continued like, making them, and they they ran out of fireworks. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if they got like comfortable or like cocky or like whatever the case was like at first because it was like y'all really didn't earn that 20 like defense didn't earn the 24-0 like it's not like defense just stopped them like they were literally just dropping things yeah and like um I don't know like it just went it just went bad <laughs> I get so mad when I think about it because I'm like Ugh, I just feel like they didn't try hard enough because it's like Patrick Mahomes you're playing Patrick Mahomes like one of the best Patrick in Mahomes, the game. Tyreek Hill um who's your freaking tight end uh Kelsey Travis Kelsey Sammy Watkins like their offense is stacked which is why I mean I'm not scared for week one I'm not scared either they're probably they have bro Super Bowl slump I think no I'm just kidding <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, I think it would be, be a good game, but I think that... Um, no, we could definitely compete with them. Like, yeah, we won 
what week was it that we played? I don't remember, but I don't know. But we won that the game. The regular season yeah. where it didn't count, <laughs> where it didn't matter. Didn't matter. And but, I was so mad too because we lost that game. If we would have won that 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 divisional game, the championship game would have been in Houston. Yes. Um. So what we gotta do week one is we gotta trail the game <laughs> because we have to what we have to trail because last year. We came back and won against them oh, in regular yeah. season, and then they came back and beat us in, um, what you call it? No, I'm kidding. No, they need to, like, get ahead and, like, keep going. Stay, Stay yeah. on their necks. Don't let us. Play all four quarters. Let's go. Of football. Don't stop. No. Mm. But, um, <sighs> yeah, I'm excited. It's three weeks away. I'm so excited. I'm actually, I'm, like, in a weird place with sports. Because it's like, I'm excited sports are back, but it's also like, it's so extremely dangerous. Like, I don't say it's so extremely dangerous. Because it's, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's I'm, like, um, people work, you know, but it's like, actually, I'm just for the player's decision. You know, they had a choice to opt out or play, you know, mm -hmm. and I think the ones that are playing right now, they clearly wanted to play. So it's like. I support your decision. Like, let's yeah. go. Let's play some sports. How do you feel about? Um, I know that the I know there are some teams in the NFL that are allowing fans, but as of the Texans, they aren't allowing fans for the first home game. Right. Um, I really I think that's smart. It's smart. You it's know. very smart. Even though I wanted to go to that game. Yep, that was the game that we were talking about going. Yes. We talked about going to training camp. We were supposed to go to training camp together, but can't go. Freaking supposed to meet Justin Reed. <laughs> it's okay next year. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so they were not allowed. First game, first home game. Do you think they should like do that throughout the whole season, or do you think they should? Just one game, see how it goes, and then if, you know. You know, like, honestly, um, it's not, like, um, I, I think they're going to end up letting stands going for, like, money reasons. Mm. Um, but it's, like, it's not, like, you know, it's not required that these places have to be shut down or anything like no by the yeah government it's, their, and stuff. it's their choice yeah so it's like i think they're gonna end up especially like all these other teams are gonna start doing it so i think that they're gonna start doing it and then at this point it's just the public's choice like do you want to go out and participate in all these things or do you want to stay home in quarantine it's up to yeah, you because so. i've heard also heard too that if you are going to go to a game, you have to, of course, wear a mask at right. the game. And imagine wearing a mask, especially the games at, like, like at stadiums where there's it's only an open roof. Yeah. Like, um, I feel like, and also I feel like there's, there's going to be fans that aren't going to fall. The people are not going to follow that. No. And it's, first of all, it's going to suck. Because let me tell you. I'm a crazy fan. <laughs> like, I am that person who's, like, screaming and crazy, and I jump up and down, and I'm, like, I think I'm, like, a sideline coach and an in-the-bleacher coach or whatever. Like, I, I am crazy. Like, I would not go to a game if I have to wear a mask because, like, how am I going to yell with that on? I know. It's going to sound like, like oh, it's just going to be like, oh, 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 oh. like, how is Deshaun supposed to hear me? Exactly. <laughs> Especially when he don't throw the ball. I when know. He's supposed to. I know. Because oh, I be, oh. I be getting on that. <laughs> oh, we got to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> she be getting on him. <laughs> like, I be getting on everybody. No, look, I was just, look, wait. Last game that I went to was against, when I met you, it was against the, uh, what was it? The um, Colts. Colts, yes. And then, I, no, that wasn't, that wasn't yes, when I, it was. no, that was when I didn't meet you, but I, that wasn't when I yelled at you. Uh -oh. I mean, I wasn't yelling. Okay, hold on, just let me. Anyways, I was, he was trying to, I, what, what did I say? Oh, uh, they was yelling at Deshaun. Yeah, I was yelling at Deshaun. He was just like they were at the the end zone already, and I was just like, 
I was like, get the shot, get it. And then like, I think he ran it in. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Football's my favorite sport. Like, I love sports. I've grown up playing sports like since I, I was five. I was a cheerleader, but I've been playing sports. I've like, I don't know. And then I love, I love football. Football is like my favorite, and I just love the Texans. Like, that's my team. They disappoint me, and I'm so sad. But that was this crazy. year's our year. <laughs> Yes, our every, year. No, every year we're got, we're about to become Dallas Cowboys fans because ah. as long as we have Deshaun Watson, every year is our year. Yes, <laughs> like I am not. I'm not even joking, bro. Like every time I'm like, we're going. We're, we're going, going to the shit. Let's go. This year we got Deshaun Watson. That's my argument every time. We got Deshaun Watson. We got Deshaun Watson. I'm like, dude, four. Let's go. I'm gonna be like, but y'all don't got hot no more. I'm like, I don't care. We, Ooh, Deshaun don't hold need up. Hold up. Can I talk about this for a second? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, bro. Like, you know how like everything. Um, like everybody's like, oh, like they let go of Hopkins. That's so stupid. Yeah. Why'd you do like, that? Freaking, who was that girl? What girl? Who did the ratings? Like, the oh, wide receiver ratings. Oh, her name is Cynthia Freud. She, Cynthia something. Yeah, she um said that the Texans receiving um Core, group yeah. was ranked 28 or 26. 28, 28, 28 out of the 32 teams in the NFL. She said, <clears throat> she said, Brandon Cooks, Kenny Stills, Kenny Stills, Randall Cobb, Will Fuller. She said, she said that they 28. are ranked twenty eighth. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is she is she watching the same people that I'm watching? Like, I don't think, I don't she, think is. she is. Don't think she like is. hold up. Like, with the quarterback, with the shot Watson. The, they they always been sleeping on us though. With like, a washed up Philip Rivers, freaking Ryan Tannehill, and freaking um who else? Who's it like? Um, God, I'm drawing blanks today. Did you say three quarterbacks? Um, no, I said Tannehill and Philip Rivers. What? Wait, what are those teams? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, hold on. I can't think. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Tannehill is the Titans. Titans. Rivers, I believe, is the. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Minshew. Minshew. Mustache guy, yes. Mustache, yeah. I was like, hold on. Let me think of the, the teams. I was like, wait, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 28th, and then they said that they were gonna, that we we're gonna end the season 7 and 9 with the quarterback, Deshaun Watson with their quarterback. Um, and the, mind you, we're in the AFC South with Garden, Gardner Minshew, Ryan Tannehill, and flipping Phillip Rivers. 7 and 9. Yeah. <laughs> they always sleep on our record. No, our first three weeks are a little tough. We got they the are. Chiefs, we got the Ravens, and we got... <laughs> Hold up. It's like, because I knew who it was, but I forgot. <clears throat> it's not the Packers. No. Oh, wait. Steelers. Yes. Okay, so first three weeks are tough. We got the Chiefs, Ravens, and Steelers. I can't wait for week one and week two. I can't wait. Because those are my three favorite quarterbacks. Ooh. Oh, really? You like Pat Mahomes? Oh, you like Pat Mahomes, Watson, and Lamar? Yep. I like all three. There are, there are the new faces of the NFL. Mm-hmm. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, they just, they stay sleeping on the Texans, which is fine. I can see Why? Um, we haven't really given, like, the Texans haven't really, like, given them a reason to not sleep on them, because when it comes to, like, the playoffs, or, like, like, games, like, against the Ravens, like, why can't we be, like, the team this, that played the Saints? 
Like, I don't know who that was. Let me tell you one thing about the Texans. <laughs> one thing about them Texans is they gonna be consistent about being inconsistent. <laughs> like, I'm not playing them. <laughs> She's not. Like, the freaking Broncos game. Oh, gosh, I just got a headache. I was there. I went there. That was my little birthday gift to myself. I was like, <laughs> I was like, let me go to this Broncos game. I'm sitting there, bro. I'm just sitting there watching the game. Mad as heck. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? Like, it's a freaking Broncos. <laughs> like, I did not understand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, uh, that's what makes me so mad, because I'm like, why? <laughs> and then, like, what? I think it was, like, the next week or two weeks later, they freaking, they bodied, they didn't really body them, but they beat the Patriots, and it was a good game. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, how do you, like, go from <laughs> the, Broncos. the Broncos really bad <laughs> to beating Tom Brady in, like, like the best defense? You know, like, I guess the best defense. So I'm just like, huh, like that's hello. What, that's what makes me mad with that team. Yeah, uh, they're very. They give me a Um, at being inconsistent. <laughs> that's the words of just. <laughs> but yeah, so we're excited, right? We're very, excited, so very excited. excited. I didn't think football was gonna happen, but it's happening. It's happening. I hope the players are safe. It's um, in nine, 19 days. 19 days because yesterday was 20 right so 19 days um no 18 now well actually no 19 what are we gonna say 19. 19 days well by the time they watch this who knows well by the time they watch this it's gonna be actually um this upcoming week so wait we gonna wait that long to post it yeah oh okay <laughs> So by the time you watch this, it's going to be this upcoming week on Thursday, Thursday night, 7, 30, 20, 7.30, Texans versus Kansas City. Um, we hide <laughs> up in so here. <laughs> and I hope y'all are excited. Um, we're kind of nervous to starting this podcast, but we are excited. I have a good time. I had a great time. I'm hoping she had a good If I she didn't, I'm, I'm looking for another call. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, we need like you all to like send in questions and stuff. Send in questions. Be active. Yes. Um. So I know that y'all sent questions last time and we didn't get to answer them. I'm sorry because we already answered them in our first two attempts <laughs> of doing this. And I think like the Instagram live, there was like a few of them in. Oh my god! Yeah. Me. Few of them in there that asked the questions and they've yeah. already heard us answer them. So I we yeah. felt like to really... not answer them again for the third, <laughs> for time. The third time. But yeah. if y'all have any other new questions, like just always ask. send them in. Send them, send them in. in. If you have any suggestions, leave like feedback. Please. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I wanna know. But I know I get like annoying. Nice. <laughs> yeah, be nice. Please. My feelings can't handle people. Yeah, we have Right? I know we're, we're Texans fans and we're like strong because, you know, they hurt our feelings every time. But, yeah, yeah. be nice. May be nice. Um, But, yeah, just send us suggestions because we need it. This is Look our first time. Uh, <laughs> and also send us um ideas for our podcast name because I don't think Texans Gals is yes, going to Yes, please, podcast names. That is what we actually really need help with. Yes. But, yes. And then next Something time. Something good. Something good. <laughs> Something not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sure whatever y'all send us is probably going to be way better than Texans Gals. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just say, but yeah, we will see y'all to talk about um, week one, yeah, we will either be drinking, uh, drinking juice again, drinking juice, <laughs> um, because of sadness, or we will be <laughs> celebrating. 
Because we have not won week one in a yeah, long a champagne time. Like we had a championship game in. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Hopefully we will be celebrating. Be Hopefully, we'll be celebrating because I'm tired of losing week one. Anyways, so I'm tired of losing. Period. You know what? If uh, um Texans, if y'all are watching this, <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to win every game and don't ever lose again. <laughs> That's all. They're like, oh my god, all the yeah, no pressure at all. <laughs> Like, yeah, girl, we got that. We, we, we got, got it. it. We ain't never lose it again. Ain't gonna never lose. Cause you know what? All we do is win. We win, win no, no matter, matter what. what. Money on the mind. Um, but yeah, we'll see y'all week one. Yep. After week one, actually. But yeah. Week one. Peace out. Peace up. A time down. <laughs>